In the rapidly evolving automotive landscape, and with the increasing cutthroat competition, not every vehicle can survive, let alone shine. Some fall short due to reliability issues, others due to a lack of features, and some simply can't justify their price tags. Then there are those who are just outclassed by their rivals. Today, we will count down some of the brand new sedans that you should avoid buying in 2024. Don't be surprised if you see a popular car. We will clearly justify the reason behind inclusion of every vehicle in this list. Before we go, if you're new here, please consider subscribing so you won't miss our future videos. 2024 Mitsubishi Mirage G4 The 2024 Mitsubishi Mirage G4 is not just one of the cheapest cars out there. It also boasts an impressive fuel economy of 35 to 41 mpg based on city or highway driving. This affordability, however, is the only good thing about this car. The subcompact sedan feels every bit of its low price in its performance and interior. Under the hood, you'll find a feeble 1.2-liter three-cylinder engine churning out a mere 78 horsepower. Inside the cabin, you'll find plenty of cheap materials. Also, the engine is noisy, soundproofing is terrible, build quality is subpar, and reliability rating is disappointing as well. With a base price below $20,000, it might seem like a good deal on paper. However, in this case, you actually get less than what you pay for. At this price point, you could find a much better used car instead. 2024 Toyota Mirai The 2024 Toyota Mirai certainly turns heads with its stunning design. It has an impressive performance, a luxurious interior, and zero carbon footprint. The problem is that it's still not the car you should consider buying. Why? Well, it's just too far ahead of its time. The Mirai uses hydrogen fuel cells, and if you're looking for a hydrogen refueling station to refuel, good luck to you. The US, for instance, has less than 100 such stations, majority of which are concentrated around major cities of California. It means you can only use this car in one state, and that too in a restricted area. If you decide to sell the car secondhand, don't be surprised if its value drops faster than your phone battery on a bad day. Honestly, owning this car is almost more trouble than it's worth. Even Toyota admits hydrogen-fueled Mirai has not been successful. But the company doesn't want to give up on it either. 2024 Volkswagen Jetta the seventh generation Jetta is made in Mexico for the US market, and the small sedan has great fuel economy and good cabin room, but it certainly doesn't excite the senses with its fairly anodyne styling, an unsporting demeanor, and a turbocharged 1.5 liter four cylinder engine producing just 158 horsepower. So maybe that's part of the problem. That's coupled to an eight speed automatic transmission feels a bit sleepy at times. While one may compromise on Jetta's enticingly low starting price and impressive fuel economy, reliability is a big-time deal-breaker. As per Consumer Reports, the 2024 Jetta has an overall predicted reliability score of 1 out of 5, and the Jetta is one of the least reliable sedan to buy in 2024 as per Consumer Reports with problems in the transmission, climate control system, brakes, electrical accessories, and in-car electronics. One of its sore spots is the transmission's grinding noise produced in both normal and eco modes. Many owners were upset when the dealership told them it was normal and not a problem. 2024 Chevrolet Malibu The 2024 Chevrolet Malibu offers a single powertrain option, a 160-horsepower turbocharged 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine paired with a CVT. It has an appealing design, comfortable ride, and nimble chassis. But that's pretty much it. The Malibu's interior is neither the quietest nor the fanciest. You can find a lot of subpar materials inside. It also lacks refinement and versatility, and offers very limited standard features. It would have been a good mid-size sedan in vacuum, but is unfortunately outclassed by a number of rivals. Consumer Reports listed the Chevy Malibu as one of the popular mid-size sedans to avoid, citing poor outward visibility, build quality, reliability, and the lack of standard active safety features. On top of that, we think Chevrolet Malibu lives on borrowed time, and reports say that GM will drop the car after the 2024 model year. 
2024 Nissan Sentra. The 2024 Nissan Sentra is a tempting option among small and affordable sedans. As is the case with many cars in this class, the Sentra delivers a lot of features for the money and is loaded with up-to-date safety tech. Unfortunately, it's held back by a rather weak engine, an outdated infotainment system, and longer-than-average braking distances. Its 2-liter 4-cylinder engine is paired with a Nissan Xtronic CVT transmission and produces 149 horsepower, which results in sluggish acceleration and disappointing handling. Additionally, the engine tends to be noisy, and the rear headroom is inadequate for taller passengers. Common issues reported with the Nissan Sentra include subpar CVT performance, faulty brakes, and unusual noises while driving. If you prioritize performance and reliability, you may want to explore other options. 2024 Maserati Quattroporte The Maserati Quattroporte is the Italian brand's flagship sedan. There's only one other Maserati sedan, the Ghibli, but the Quattroporte commands the big bucks with its blend of opulent luxury and performance, all topped off by a Ferrari-sourced engine. The price of the 2024 Maserati Quattroporte starts at $141,000. But let's face the facts. There are several reasons why this exotic Italian sedan, which had an original asking price of over $100,000 a few years ago, can be found at the moment for $33,000 or even less. So if you have been tempted by this Maserati and are seriously considering buying it instead of a boring modern sedan, there are some things you need to know. While this Italian masterpiece's exhilarating performance and exquisite craftsmanship are undeniable, the financial commitment required to keep it running in top condition can be astronomical. The complexity of Quattroporte's electrical systems and the proprietary nature of Maserati's technology can result in hefty repair bills. And unfortunately, they do break often. Number 3. 2024 Mercedes-Benz C-Class the redesigned C-Class builds on the sportiness of the previous version, with a polished powertrain and honed handling. But drivers hated the overly complicated controls and the spongy brake pedal. However, that's not why the C-Class made a top spot on this list. Consumer Reports says, We expect the 2024 C-Class to be much less reliable than other new cars. Based on reliability, the luxury sedan is placed at the very bottom of the pile among similar models. Primary issues reported by the owners are electrical system breakdowns. One owner reported, At 4,000 miles, it left me stranded. The car locked up, shut down, and all the lights came on. They had to come get it on a flatbed, and after three days, told me pretty much the motherboard died, and they had to reset and program stuff. NHTSA has issued two recalls related to electrical and fuel system problems. Number 2. 2024 Maserati Ghibli Yes, another Maserati. Despite its steep price tag, the 2024 Maserati Ghibli doesn't even get the basics right. It lacks in-car amenities, the rear space is tight, and the interior doesn't feel worth a six-figure price car. The base trim is surprisingly underpowered as well. All in all, despite its racing history and luxurious appeal, the 2024 Ghibli doesn't quite live up to expectations. Yes, we adore the stylish Italian design and the captivating exhaust sound, the Ghibli is easily outclassed by more luxurious offerings that cost much less. Number 1. 2024 Nissan Versa With a starting tag of $17,500, the Versa is one of the most affordable cars that you can get in 2024. If you're in the market for a compact sedan, Nissan Versa's lower price point might entice you, but the sedan is too basic and underpowered. The 2024 Nissan Versa comes with a 122-horsepower four-cylinder engine powering the front wheels with a CVT transmission, which has a track record of various issues. The driver's seat is short on support, and unlike previous Versas, the rear seat is tight. A more substantial used car can be had at the same price. The vague steering and uneven interior quality are disappointing, even for a budget car. Though Nissan improved some aspects of CVT reliability issues in the latest Gen Versa, it's still not a very reliable car. Owners have reported issues with the drivetrain and electronics. You would do better to steer clear of this one. That's all for today. Comment down below what's the worst car you owned. 
Thank you, and see you in another informative video.